Welcome to the Link Intelligence Quick Start Demo. My name is Tom McCracken, and I'm going to be walking you through how Link Intelligence can help you cross-link related content on your website to provide a more engaging user experience and to enhance your search engine rankings. Probably the best way to explain what Link Intelligence does is to just show you. So let's go ahead and dive in. Here we have a Drupal website that I've added several pieces of content as nodes to already. To make things a little bit easier for this demo, I created a content type called Wiki that's meant to serve as definitions for several different terms, and I've used bicycle parts as an example, uh, as example definitions. So I've got a Wiki page here about bicycle gears and so forth. I've also created a blog post about the history of bicycle brakes. One thing that you might typically want to do in a Drupal website is that when you write a post, you might want to link the content in that, in that node to other nodes on related content. This can be quite tedious to do manually and difficult to keep up with. And that's one of the things that Link Intelligence helps us deal with is to help us automatically link that content. So let's see how that works. The first thing I need to do is that I've already uploaded the Link Intelligence module into my local, onto my local machine, but I need to go to the modules page and enable it. Easy trick to scroll down is I enable search and I'm going to scroll down to Link Intelligence and I'm going to go ahead and enable the main module and I'm also going to enable the uh, CCK sub module. Save my configuration. Now that Link Intelligence is enabled, it'll start auto linking content on my website. Since I already have some uh, content that already exists though, I've got, to, I've got to auto link that using one of two methods. Either I can go back to pieces of content, hit edit and save, or I can use Link Intelligence bulk update. This is actually very similar to how Path Auto works, where it'll automatically alias things that are new after it's been enabled, but for any content that was previous, you need to run a bulk update. I'm gonna go ahead and do a bulk update because that will update all my content and generate links on all of it uh, in kind of in one click. If I run over to Link Intelligence, I scroll to the bottom of its settings page, and I can manually run a bulk update. And we see that it created several different links on several different pages. So if I run back over to my History of Bike Breaks page, I run a refresh, we now see that I have links that have shown up on several different terms. And so, for example, this Pedals link links me over to the Wiki page. You might notice that what it did out of the box, and this is just with the defaults enabled, is it linked node titles. But if I wanted to link to a larger set of words, Link Intelligence will allow me to do that. So that one of the things I've done, for example, is that if I look at bike brakes, I've actually created a set of taxonomy already on this for larger words, such as bicycle brakes, bike brakes, brakes. If I want to enable auto linking based on those, I can run back to the Link Intelligence settings and just tell it, I want you to sync on other vocabularies. And I've set up a vocabulary called keywords. Let's go ahead and sync on that vocabulary. Now I run my bulk update again. I run back to history, I do a refresh, and we see that now breaks is no longer linked, but the longer word bicycle breaks is already linked based on a taxonomy term that was already put into breaks. Now if we run to another piece of content, let's say I run over to my tires wiki page, we see that there's actually some terms in here that I have some bicycle part wiki pages for, but because the words are different or they're stems of the word, but slight modifications, slight variants, they're not linking. So for example, I have a, a wiki page on wheels, but the singular version wheel doesn't match. I also have one on braking or brakes, but the single word braking doesn't match because it doesn't exactly match. To get this to auto link, I could put in taxonomy terms. Uh, and do what we did before, but that can get quite tedious to put in all the different variants of a word. So one of the things that Link Intelligence allows you to do is hook in with a module called Porter Stemmer that automatically stems keywords and allows us to automatically link to different variants of words. And to enable this, all I simply do is I run back over to my modules page, And I scroll down to search. I already have the Porter Stemmer uploaded to my local machine. And I enable it. Now with the Porter Stemmer module enabled, Link Intelligence can actually do link matching based on the stems of keywords, creating different variants. So if I run back over to my Link Intelligence setting page, I'll want to go ahead and run another bulk update. 
for the new uh, for for the new information from the uh, Porter Stemmer. And what we see now is that there's actually several of these that say they've been they've been matched based on some stemming. And so if I run back over to my tires, which before we had Porter Stemmer enabled, we weren't seeing anything matching. Now I run a refresh, and we see that wheel is now being linked, braking is being linked because these are now keyword variants. Another way that you might want to link to related content in your website is to use sidebar links. So we see that link intelligence can work with these internal content links, but it also will help us work with sidebar links. I can actually change the type of links I want it to generate uh, by running back over and changing some of the auto link configuration. So for example, I can turn off that I don't want it to auto link, I don't want to auto gen any content links. I go ahead and I click save. And if I go back and click save over here, I could have also done a bulk edit. We now see that all the content links are removed, but yet it says that it created three sidebar links. Now, if we look around the page, we see, well, where are those sidebar links? Well, what, we're, what Link Intelligence does is it works with views and or CCK, and we use those mechanisms in order to see those links. To simply see those links, all I need to do is run over to blocks. And we see that I have this link intelligent related links block. And I want to go ahead and save that. And if I run back over to my history, now I get my related links off to the side. And this is really just a view, so I can click into views and change the way this is working if I want to. The other thing you might want to do is you might want to use CCK to put, uh, put these links either on top or below your content. You can do that also. If I run back over to um, underneath content types and I edit my blog, I want to go ahead and manage fields. I'm going to create a new field called related links, put in a machine name of related links, and we see that I have this link intelligent uh, links field type. Click Save. Here I just want to tell it that I want it to use these sidebar links because it could display other types of links. And now if I run back over to my blog post, we see that now I've got my CCK displaying my sidebar links here. Now really, I want to run back and turn it back into content links. So I'll go ahead and change it here. And one of the other things we see is there's two settings. You can actually turn content links off completely. I can say, how many links do I want to have per page? Or how many links do I want to have per 500 words? And so this will allow you to tune where um, some of the other auto-linking systems, you get all kinds of links that can really start to clutter up your pages. You can limit the number of links. Also, link intelligence is intelligent enough that when there are other links that you've manually put on a page, it will count those. So for example, if we say that we want five per page, and then we go ahead and we add two ourselves, then it's only going to auto link three additional ones. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And if I run back over, uh, hit Edit and Save here, we now see that our sidebar links are gone, but our in-content links are back. You also, Link Intelligence will also allow you to set this per content type and per and also optionally allow authors to change it. So for example, if I want to allow these uh, I want those settings to be different. I can go underneath content types, edit blog, and I can change the settings here underneath link intelligence. The other thing I can do is I can enable authors to be able to change these defaults if they want to. So if I go ahead and allow authors to change those defaults, now when you go to edit, there is a link intelligence block here or field set here that you now the author can individually change how many links they want auto-generated, both for content and for sidebars, or if they want uh, links auto-generated at all. That's our quick start tour of the Link Intelligence module. In this demo, I showed just the beginnings of what Link Intelligence does. It provides many other tools that will help you add and manage links on your website. We'll take a look at some of those more advanced features in our next screencast, Link Intelligence Link Management. So until next time, happy drupling.